Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. Today we are playing Vladimir. Um, was blind pick. We're against a, a Karma, which I think could be annoying in the early game, but ultimately I don't think she's going to be able to stop me free farming and scaling. The enemy comp is a bit odd. Their actual only hyper carry is Twitch, so if we kill Twitch, they lose. Ish. The only, I think, big concern that I've got is also top lane. Um... And he's not... Oh, dude, he's not even like a one-trick. So, like, Yorick is obviously just split-push McGee. Oh, he's in Diamond 2 already, this guy. What's the Karma Platinum 1? Um, I don't think a, a Kennen can stop a Yorick in late game. Kennen doesn't do enough damage. So I do think we have to do quite well. Also, it's worth knowing there's a bug at the moment. See, my title is ambitious. It shouldn't be ambitious. Um, It's a bug that masterful is my title because i got master and I, I use that title um it became ambitious for some reason but back on the client it's back to being masterful but obviously in game it's still ambitious so twitch of um sorry um she was master as well she was master as well just by the title most of these players probably were master last season anyway but yeah so my biggest concern is we just got to kill twitch and yorick Obviously, they have millions of shields, so Shadow Flame's second item is a must. Um, but hopefully, we can uh, do all right. By this guy's name, he's probably going to be a toxic player. I'm probably judging off his name. I just have to be careful at level one. That's is what I would say. As weird as it might sound, I, it's more likely that someone with L9 and a Twitch main probably is more toxic and probably does a lot more cheese strats like coming mid lane at weird times. Do 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 ETA cannon. Uh no, he might be going AD cannon. Actually AD cannon might do better against Yorick than AP. First time you ever see me go Dark Seal. Well, I don't want to jinx myself, but I do kind of think I have a free farming lane against Karma. I just don't think she has got the strength to stop me. Like, she might in the... Because, obviously, she's a support. She might have some early damage. Like, obviously, Karma's got high base damage, not much scaling. So she might poke me out a lot. But I don't think she ever has the damage to just kill me. Could be wrong, but... Yeah. So, unless I get camped by Twitch or Zack, I think I'm fine. <clears throat> Waiting for Twitch. It's just such a common strategy. My cup is half Still not in bot lane. I guarantee he was here. Okay, he's in bot. Maybe he wasn't. So obviously really, really passive in the early game from me. But that's literally just because it's a Twitch. Don't want to risk the game. Focus. You wouldn't be roaming on Karma already, would you? So her strategy is just to push me in, I guess. I was Maud. I think Maud's pretty damn strong. He did receive a couple nerfs in preseason, but not really enough, I think, to... That's not good. Weird move that my bot lane, like, left lane. We just don't, like, legit their only main carry is Twitch. So if, they, if Twitch wins lane phase... 
and we're a little bit screwed because they've got a sonar and a karma to keep him alive. So then if he's strong from lane phase, it's like the worst situation we can have. I don't really think a um, a Twitch Sona should be beating lane against a Tristan and Nautilus, to be honest. Trist is a lane bully and Nort's really good against Sona in lane. I really, I burnt my tongue. Feels bad. To be fair, though, this is kind of how I like lane phase so far. This is completely okay for me. Hey, Doin. We need a huzzy eye on Doin. And courage. Where does he cannon? Yeah, it is. Oh, this should be a kill. He hasn't got flash. Nice. That's good. Celestial story with a gifted sub over to Doin. Very kind. Appreciate it massively. Thank you. Thank you. So realistically, all I'm looking to do in this lane phase is a bit boring, obviously, but that's fine. Who is? Oh, I'm just looking to power scale or oh, hyperscale. I'm a Vladimir. My goal ultimately will be to get strong enough that I can ghost and beeline it for the Twitch when he appears in mid to late game and hopefully just kill him. A vital decision. Obviously, that means I will have to get through a Sona and a Karma shields, but I think Vladimir is strong enough that I can. Little Big Mouth of the Gifted Sub over to Courage. Very kind. Thank you very much, both of you. You have no mana. Hot lane. An enemy has been slain. Nice. Ooh, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, Joe Magic. Zach's first appearance. That almost got no mana. Right, I'm half expecting to get ganked myself soon, but realistically, it doesn't matter that much because Karma can't follow up on the play. They probably actually won't gank. It'd probably be a well-timed gank if Karma had mana. Quite likely she'll just teleport back now. Let's try to push it. Realistically, yeah, I want to force the TP. Very nice. Wait, why did why did why did Trist jump out? Oh my god, Tw Tristana really misplayed that. If she jumped in at the right time, and now she jumped in at the wrong time, maybe. Karma's coming, though. You just need to leave. Okay, okay, she got the kill. But then Karma's going to get a kill. But honestly, I'm not that bothered with Karma getting a kill, to be honest. It's a Karma. It's a support. If, Tr if Tristana played that fight a bit better, instead of jumping out when she did, if she jumped in to do more damage with then Rengar still alive at the time, they would have probably absolutely sweeped that fight. Now we could try to look for a kill on Karma. That's the thing. She doesn't have flash. Okay, 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 okay. She is tanky, though. God, she's so tanky. What? Support, my dudes. So tanky. If not, was level six. But he's probably a little bit off it. That's a shame, but it's fine.
Yeah, presumably cannon is going ad cannon by the way because if he goes kraken and bulk he probably go bulk first then he actually probably can kill a yorick but well maybe i don't know obviously all this yorick is going to do the entire game is spit push that's not great positioning oh i thought yorick was going to go all in on that and he didn't Yeah, bot lane right now, I would say. Kind of sit. Ooh. We can fight it. We can fight it. We can fight it. What the fuck? Oh. Why do you do so much damage? I, the reason, by the way, I didn't get into the fight is I might have been able to get there, but I thought they were going to, like, win the fight. So I was like, well, let, I'll just keep the dragon at low. I think that was the right decision. Like, the, the own, I think Nort was going to die anyway, and maybe, maybe I would have got myself a kill or an assist, but... Mm. That's ridiculous damage that Rengar just did. I, people in Twitch are saying it's a Sona. I know it's a Sona. That's still crazy. To me, that's still crazy. Yeah, the enemy comp completely and utterly does is... Well, it's not a good comp. They're in solo queue, I would never build a comp to rely on a random teammate because you don't know if they're good or bad. And their comp is basically completely and utterly relying on the Twitch. Twitch mid. Oh, they had vision. Wait, why is Sona mid? What? No. Oh, good cleanse, but you're dead. It's a bad death. That's a really bad death. <sighs> the one champ i don't want to get kills is the twitch and it's the one champ we're actually allowing to get kills i'm not even kidding very weird so is karma building as a tank oh dear His damage is just insane. He's dead though. Oh, good flash. If he doesn't die. He didn't die. Wow. Good job. Yay! There we go. He's nearly out of mana. <clears throat> I wonder if this is a support player that got auto filled. Karma's not a bad pick if you're like auto filled as a support, to be fair. You have no mana. All right, I've got to be careful of respawn with Twitch. Always be careful of that. Nice. Go get our mythic. <clears throat> you thought Karma mid was a weak pick? It's not great for carrying solo queue, but if you're autofilled as a support player, I mean, you can play it, you know? Karma's a support in the end of the day. All right, Zach was bot. Karma's now top. Hmm. Bit weird. So they're looking for maybe a dive play in bot lane right now. I might head down there. Because again, Zach's camping bot because he also knows his carry. We knew this was happening, by the way. Oh, Sona's dead. Hook! I'm on my way. I'm on... No, don't die! Oh, she got him. 
I just want to move. Oh, no. There's no point in me moving. <laughs> For God's Wait, she went lock it. What? That's the wrong item. What? Mag to be like, oh, help my team. She's like a little annoying fly. Weirdly does a lot of damage for having a locket of the iron Solari. Really need a shadow, whatever the hell it's called again. If I get one of them, then I can get through all these shields. What many shields? Shadow Flame, that's the one. Being a bit hesitant because Twitch could be mid lane. A bit too early. <laughs> Zach might try to steal. No, he's not. I'll swap. Give me a sec. Not giving up this cannon. Imagine if I missed that cannon then. That would have been funny. Oh. Well, Trista's gone back. Oh. This game's going pretty good for me. As I said, free roughly scaling. I would never want to play something ever that you're giving a Vladimir a relatively free early game. That just, just doesn't sound like a good plan. His Twitch looks really squishy. I think it's because he is really squishy, to be honest, but I don't know, he just looks squishier than a normal Twitch even looks. <clears throat> oh, it's an infernal map. Why is Trist not coming? The biggest thing I'm finding weird. Trist needs to be really careful. They know you're there. She dead. Really just bizarre positioning by this Tristana. I, I don't get what she's doing. Just constantly alone. If she doesn't die, that'd be great, but I think she is dead. Ooh. Nice. If she... Oh my god, she actually killed Zack. Okay, fair enough. Because like if she comes mid, I would go bot lane, but she's never moving to come mid. Maybe she's waiting for me. Oh, that's a good Nautilus assault. Maybe she was waiting for me to go bot, but normally I wait for the AD carry to be like, right, I'm going mid now.
Maybe she also, I just noticed her farm's actually not very good. Maybe she... I'm on my way. Never mind. I'd not always should have run. That's an annoying TP. At least we got their TP out, so it means if Yorick stays top lane, he can't come to Dragon. Look at the silver lining in the situation, I guess. I'm actually going to go Large Rod because it gives me more. Is she going to try and steal that? No. Oh. She's looking for like Twitch, I guess, to walk into her or something. Like she's playing completely as a solo. It's really, really weird. Please don't do this. Like Infernal is spawning. If you die now, you're not going to be alive for Infernal. All right, you can have mid. Just don't die. You have no vision underneath you as well. She's making me nervous. Do 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 do. All right. They're fighting this really early. Oh my god. I'm not even there, man. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, I hear a dog barking. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish my team didn't play it as crazy as they are. Why is she barking? Are they sneaky Baron? No way. Yeah, no. The mo they could have been. But the moment I saw Yorick bot lane, they ain't a Baron. They are honestly a, an actual power move would have them tri trioing Baron because they could have done it. And I think they actually would have done it in time as well, which is the, the scary thing. Please, I nearly have this. Can you kill him? Yep. Wow. Without flash, that Rengar killed the Yorick. Oh, I'm not based. I got a bit debated there. That's stupid by my team. That's not the Rengar's fault at all. That was the Nautilus's fault. We only need to kill Twitch and we win this game. That's literally it. Just playing a bit stupid. I think Rengar's going to steal this. Or the enemy team might not even try to do it. There's a bouncy bounce over there. Oh. If they just leave and don't die, or even if just Kennen dies. Yeah, we're alive. They can't do Baron now. I mean, that's not the worst outcome. They can't do Baron. That's what they wanted. We just need our bot lane to not do that. And we'll be fine. In a 5v5, we can't lose. Rengar will just jump on Twitch with me. He can't survive us. 
Oh, guys, this is our bot lane. It's literally this bot lane. Stop doing these plays. They are risking the game for no gain. Oh, look, they're dead, probably. Just really bad play. It's these two. Stop doing it. Oh, I don't get it. I do not get why they're doing what they're doing. We lose the game. Chris is literally doing nothing. Yeah, we lose. Our bot lane is just so bad. See, Sue, they just cost us this game by themselves by doing really, really idiotic plays. Like, why are they here as two people after we just lose a fight for no reason? It's so tilting. These players were like master level probably last year. And if I had to say how they're playing, I wouldn't even say like above silver. It's just bizarre. It is just bizarre. It's like they want to lose. So annoying. What are you... Nautilus, please! I swear, man, these players are just so bad. What was that? No need to engage. Goes in, dies again. Chris is getting caught. That's really good by Rengar. Dude, this Rengar is... I'm trying, Rengar's trying, but my god. Nice dodge. There we go. Dude, we have to carry these people so hard. We have to carry them so hard. That should be dragon and that's that's infernal dragon soul. Oh my god. We just need the Tristan and the Nautilus to basically stop trying to carry and just get carried and we'll be fine. I'm not even kidding. I knew that was our moment. When Rengar killed Twitch, I had to just go all in. Oh God, stressful, stressful. It's stressful because you know you can win. That's what makes it stressful. But I genuinely would say if Rengar just sacrifices himself for Twitch, it's worth it. Which he should easily be able to do. Like right now, Twitch, Tristana just farming mid lane without a care in the world. Twitch could come up and just kill her. Oof. <laughs> Hello there. She got the double. I didn't get a single kill. Are you serious? Oh. That's annoying. Thank God, dudes. Oh, thank God. Kill the maiden. Oh god.
Persona ain't having fun. Persona's way too squishy. He's alive. Just run the whole way. Oh, God, Tristana. I think if Twitch runs into her, she will kill her Twitch at this stage, but it's just unnecessary risk. Right, there's no way he's here, right? I'm watching my own character just in case. No. Okay, that is quite funny. <laughs> now she's in a bit of a weird position, though. Oh, good cleanse. Good flash. I mean, again, it's just unnecessary is the thing that I would say. Like, she did kill two of them, but... It just isn't necessary at that moment. I'm on level 16 really badly. If you're wondering, like, why am I not fully committing to team fights? That's usually how I play. I want level 16. I've got seven assists. <sighs> we farmed well, at least. Let's go do Baron. Twitch is alive. He's there. Okay, I think we can do it. I think we can just do it. He early smited. He early smited it so badly. He smited it at like 2,000 health. I swear, man, this game is just... <laughs> it's such an easy game to win, but we're making it so difficult for no reason. It's so weird. Now, Trist will try to do a weird 1v5 hero play and die, and then we'll probably lose the game. Yep, you're on vision. You're literally on vision. You're literally on vision. So bad. We have to fight it properly when we're alive. Just kill them and ace. I've just noticed I'm one and three. Weird game. All right. Oh, they're, just, they're not even going for an here because we respawned. I would like level 16 before the next big fight, to be fair. What a weird game. All right, we did it. Level 16. All right, should we just look for a bush pick or something? Thing is, we're like, will the Rengar just get out smited again or something, you know? That's what I'm worried about now. If anyone followed up, he was dead. Anybody followed up. They all just ran away. I literally need one shot the Twitch. Hopefully my death makes them low enough that that gives us the Elder, though. Oh, this game is just too stressful. That's a car. Oh, kill the Karma. Kill the Karma. Just kill the Karma. Focus on killing rather than doing anything else. That gives you number advantage. Yeah, that's so bad by Karma. Nice. Nice. Okay. I, I don't even know if we should do this. Another TP. Another TP. Work together. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why she flashed. She should have just accepted that death. Kennen could even teep. Oh. The Twitch. Yeah, the Twitch. Okay, they blew up Zack. Here we go, Yorix. No, that was a terrible Tristana roll. To destroy the Rengar was about to absolutely murder him. Kennen should TP to their base. Yeah, and then, then we can do Elder. The question is, where are they? Yeah, one more. Oh, 
got him. Ugh, let's go. I knew I could kill this Twitch, even through exhaust. It's the weird thing that my KDA doesn't look insane, but I'm actually really strong. <sighs> this game is stressful. Go get that inhib again. So now they don't even have exhaust for the next time I go in or Rengar goes in. Good TP by Kennen, by the way. Chris just needs to hit the tower a bit. Oh wow, Rengar killed Twitch. Wait, why did Trish stand and just hit it? She jumped on top of Yorick! What? The one person we needed alive to kill towers and she just... Oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> That should have been game. If Trisana just kept range, they were focusing on me, and then Trisana could have kept range. But she decided to jump on top. Oh, man. If you're enjoying this crazy game, throw a like on the video. If you're watching on Twitch, if you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. It does help out. Early season, man. Early season. Just don't get caught right now. Yorick's bot, but he will have TP up, surely. He could probably just leave Maiden, though. All right, I might just bush bait. Oh, no, I'm not. Because they're not even here. All right, just kill it. They're not even coming. I was gonna like just wait in the bush and then the enemy team could walk past me and then I engage, but they didn't even come. Um... Not needed, Rangar. Absolutely. He's obviously looking for Twitch. To be fair, Sona as well is a pretty good pick. Wait. He's just ending the game! <laughs> He just ended the game! Oh my god! They were so focused on huddling around the Twitch that they forgot about their Nexus. <laughs> oh, what a weird game. That game was so much harder than it needed to be. That bot lane, oh, their decisions were just so weird. So weird decisions. Okay, well, we played Vlad. We got 24 LP again. We do 37,500 damage. Tristana actually did do the most damage, which I'm not surprised about now in late game, but her decisions were just really weird. Uh, the only ways the enemy team was getting back into this game was when our bot lane did something weird, and they just don't need to do it, you know? The only way the enemy team won is if we didn't kill Twitch. They, he was their only carry. Their comp was awful. Like, Karma does 19,000 damage, like, for, for a mid laner, because... She's not a mid lane carry. She's a support. So this game was really easy if we just did the basics of group up, kill Twitch, win the game. And obviously the Rengar did that really well. The Kennen was doing actually pretty good too in some regards. But then our bot lane, they did fine. Like, you know, their KDs and their damage. Someone would go, oh, you know, the Tristana played really good. It's just they're throwing in mid game that was bizarre. I just don't understand why they did what they did. They just didn't need to go by themselves. That was it. But anyway, we won. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this stressful game, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. We're on 70-something LP. I think, unfortunately, that means we are... 
Oh, no, if we win the next game. Oh, snap. Kleb, uh, Kleb Svensken, thank you much, dude, for the five gifted subs. Massive appreciate, my dude. If we win the next game, we're in Diamond 3. And Diamond 3 was my goal for today. Obviously, if we get it, I'm not going to stop playing instantly. I'm playing like a five-hour session minimum today. And we've only been going an hour and, well, nearly two hours. So we've got many hours to go. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.